welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I posted. I just haven't traveled much. Not being in Orlando, not working at the theme parks. So I haven't really gone anywhere. <laughs> I did get to go on the Velocicoaster before it was open to the public and I was hoping to videotape it. I brought my GoPro and of course you had to go through metal detectors. I was not able to bring it on the ride. But that is a great ride. It is so smooth. It won't give you a headache. It's a very good ride. I'm glad they added it to Islands of Adventure. So my channel is gonna get a bit of a change up. Um, I've always kind of wanted to be a full-time artist. I'm hoping to open a Etsy shop pretty soon. I've been making polymer clay earrings. I've been painting. I don't know if you can see that in the background. I'm just trying to find my style right now, or even just figure out what medium I work best in. I try to work with gouache, which is hard. I don't know how anyone likes working with gouache. Not my favorite. Acrylic, not my favorite. I love oil, so maybe I'll just stick to oils. But I've also been experimenting with colored markers, colored pencils, and then just combining the two or three or four, just making mixed media. Just trying to figure that out. So this is my room. It is jam packed in here. <laughs> Pretty much got everything I own in here. I had to move back to my parents' house since COVID, so I crammed everything in this room. It's kind of my art studio slash bedroom. So I got the bed here and then I have my computer, it's a mess, um, just a couple stuff I've got. These are supposed to be like decorative bookshelves, but I've been storing my uh, clay earring stuff on there. And then that's my art table. Um, more shelves for art stuff. And then this is like my TV and closet and whatnot. And this is my puppy. Say hi. Yeah. Huh? Do you love me? Huh. This is my sister dog. <gasps> Zoe Kura. They just like to chill. They think this is their bed. I'm actually thinking about switching things up in my room. Um, I'm actually hoping to take out the bed and put my couch in here. I also videotaped myself renovating. My couch, I pretty much put a different fabric on top of it. It took me like six months, part-time doing it here and there. So I'm gonna stick that in this room. I might upload that video to YouTube too, how I did it. But I'm gonna stick that in this room and then just sleep in a different room. And then this could be my art studio. Cause I really want this window. I really wanna put a table in front of the window so that I can have the natural light. Cause doing my art all the way in this corner is so incredibly dark and taking photos of it. I mean, right now you can see that it's pretty bright, but um, if you're actually just like sitting in front of it, and if I just work on the clay jewelry, which is the direct sunlight is not actually hitting it, uh, it gets pretty dark over there. These are some of the clay jewelry I've been making. I really like the marble effect. That's been really fun to make. I did recently open my Etsy store, so if you look up Simply by Sarah Designs, you'll see some of these on there. I'm going to be uploading some more shortly. I originally started painting something completely different, but I absolutely hated it, so I started over again. This painting I did in acrylic, which at the beginning of the video I said I don't normally like painting in acrylic. 
but I've actually never done a full piece in acrylic and I wanted to see how it went, especially with painting flowers and something of bright colors. So I'm pretty much just experimenting with this painting. I'm definitely not used to the paint drying right away, so that was a challenge to get used to. <laughs> I think I was singing there. Speeding up the video definitely makes you sound like a chipmunk. And as you can see, it's going to look like a big mess for <laughs> a while. I don't think I've actually ever painted flowers before other than watercolor, so this piece is definitely an experiment for me. Adding the blue is definitely my favorite part to the piece. I'm not normally one to add colors where I don't see it, so it felt a little bit like a risk, especially to add the blue to the flowers themselves. But I've seen people do it with portraits, which looks really good. Like if there's a blue background, they'll add a bit of blue to their facial features. And I absolutely love it. And this is my first time trying it. And I'm definitely going to be doing it again because I think it looks really cool. And of course the paint splats, those are fun as well. This is my first time using the Posca white marker. I see people using it all the time and I had to buy it and I absolutely love it. I'm going to be using it on quite a bit more paintings from here on out. The background was lacking a bit of the pink color, so I was just adding more of that in. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed painting this a lot. I feel like I'm going to be painting a little more like this style from here on out. 